Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to crochet this cozy sweater. This sweater is very beginner friendly. It is made out of four large rectangles, the back, the front, and also two sleeves. And all you need to know are two simple stitches. One stitch for the front panel, back panel, and the sleeves. The other stitch is for the cuff, the top here, and the bottom here. The easiest way to make it fit for anyone is by measuring a sweater. Measure from shoulder to shoulder. You can make the length for as long as you want. Measure the length of the sleeve and the width. Measure two times two for the width because we're folding it in half. I'm using this really soft yarn that I bought it when it was on sale. It is a number four medium yarn. It is made of recycled polyester, cotton, and acrylic. Each ball is about 453 meters long, and I only have two of this color, one for the front panel and one for the back panel. And this is really soft. I also have the pink and the white for the sleeves. I was going to use this color for the cuff. Then I replaced it with the Lion Brand Feels Like Butter because this is much softer. I use a 5mm hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers, and a measuring tape. And lastly, this is my best friend. With this, I could crochet for hours without putting down my hook. I highly recommend it and you crochet a lot. It is to help ease the pain on the finger so that the yarn is not pulling your finger. It is super helpful. The link is in the description box along with the materials. I'm using a different yarn so you can see it better in front of the camera. The first stitch I'm going to show you is for the front panel, back panel, and the sleeve. We'll begin the pattern by making a slip knot and make a foundation chain. They all start the same way. It is a matter of the number of chains. The front and the back panel, I chain 81, and it gives me approximately 21 inches from shoulder to shoulder, and 61 for the sleeves. And it measures approximately 16 inches from shoulder to width. So make a chain according to your measurement. Once you have the chain made, to begin round 1, start on the second chain from hook. That's 1, 2, this 1, turn to the back, on the little bump here, place a half double crochet, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, 3 loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through 3 loops. Again, on the next chain. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through three loops. So on this round, place a half double crochet into every chain. And I'll meet you on the next round. To begin round 2, and this is also the repeat round, 1 chain, and turn. In the first stitch, that's this one here, place a half double crochet. And half double crochet into every stitch. Repeat this round for as many times as you need it for your desired length. For the sleeve, I stopped at 13 inches. Just make sure it is able to wrap around your arm completely. 
My back panel, I stopped at 26 inches, then I cut yarn. As for the front panel, we're doing something differently. I stopped at 23 inches in length. So right now, it measures 21 by 23 inches. Then I divided the length of 21 into 3 sections, and I got 7 inches evenly. But I want the middle section to be about 5 inches. And it gives me 30 stitches on each end, and the middle section is 20 stitches. And make sure to use a stitch marker. Now that we have the markers in place, and to continue the pattern for the front panel, half double crochet into 30 stitches, and stop at where the marker is. Once you reach the marker, one chain and turn. And half double crochet into 30 stitches back into the beginning, and I meet you on round 3. To begin round 3, one chain and turn. This time, we are double crochet into 29 stitches. Step at the second last stitch. We are going to skip the last stitch. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Skip the last stitch. One chain, and turn outward to begin round four. And round four, half double crochet into every stitch back to the beginning. The repeat of the pattern is to skip the last stitch on every two rounds, and repeat until the length of the panel measures the same as the back panel. In my case, it's 26 inches. Once this side is done, we're going to begin the other side. Flip your weight. Attach a piece of yarn on this end and work this way. Repeat exactly what we did on the other side. Now that the front panel is done, the next part is to attach the front panel to the back panel. Once the top is done, then stitch the sides together. When I'm stitching the side together, I started from the bottom and work my way up. Up here, leave about 6 to 7 inches for the arm. Once this step is done, basically your sweater is complete. The second stitch of the pattern is also very easy. May I snip knot and may a foundation chain. I chain 14 for the cuff, 6 for the top, 9 for the bottom. But you can make more or less chains. To begin round 1, on the second chain from hole, this one, turn to the back. On the little bump here, place a single crochet. And single crochet into every chain. To begin the next round, one chain and turn. And this is also the repeat round. In the first stitch, place a single crochet. On the next stitch, single crochet into the back loop. That loop is a far away loop from us, this one over here. And again, single crochet into the back loop.
on the last stitch here, single crochet into two loops, just like the first stitch. And to begin the next round, one chain and turn. Single crochet into two loops on the first stitch. Then single crochet into the back loop. The last stitch is the same as the first stitch. Single crochet into two loops. Repeat this for as many times as needed. The cuff I stopped until it is able to wrap around my wrist and it's loose. And it's about 8.5 inches. And now fold in half and connect both ends together. If you like to, you may also use a yarn needle. So insert your hole into the first stitch of the two layers. And make a slip stitch. On the next stitch, insert into the back loop and insert into the front loop of the second layer. And slip stitch. On the last stitch, I insert my hole in two loops. Then slip stitch. One chain and cut yarn. After I connect the sleeve together, before I cut yarn, I leave a long tail because I'm using this tail to attach my cuff to my sleeve. When attaching the cuff to the sleeve, make sure to use stitch markers to hold it in place first. Then stitch it together. The bottom piece measures about 1.5 by 34 inches and I left about 1 inch shorter on each end because later it was stretched so you don't want it to be the same width as the main panels. The top I did it differently. I stitched it to the sweater first before connect the ends together and I start to stitch it from the center of the back panel first. This way I know how long it is required. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!